There are two different types of embryo thaw cycles that we utilize here at the center. An embryo thaw cycle is a cycle where a patient is utilizing their previously cryopreserved embryos. Some of the differences between the two cycles are medications versus no medications. In other words, the medicated or cryosynthetic thaw cycle does utilize a medication called Lupron, uh, which we administer to a patient in order to suppress the, ovar the natural ovarian cycle. We then use estrogen and progesterone in a synchronized fashion to develop the lining and convert the lining so that it is prepared for the implanting embryo. In a natural medicated cycle, the woman's own hormones are being utilized through normal follicular development and ovulation to prepare the lining for implantation of the embryo. So some, these are some of the differences that uh, you need to consider when deciding whether or not a natural thaw cycle or a medicated thaw cycle may be right for you. Of the two types of thaw protocols that we utilize here at the center, the medicated thaw cycle is commonly used for patients that don't ovulate on their own or in situations where we need to control the actual date of transfer. Some patients may not have an adequately thick endometrial lining for optimal implantation, or they may ovulate late in a cycle. In those situations, we prefer to control the cycle in order to obtain high pregnancy rates. For patients that ovulate on their own and want to minimize the use of medications, a natural thaw cycle can be utilized in those situations. We do monitor the protocol and the, the woman's cycle in order to assure that the pregnancy rates are optimal. In a natural embryo thaw cycle, we do monitor a woman's ovulation and cycle so that the embryo transfer is timed appropriately. It turns out the success rates for both of those protocols are equal depending on whether or not a woman is a candidate for a natural thaw cycle depends on her assessment and her recommendations from her physician. Success rates for both of our embryo thaw cycles are equal. It does depend on whether or not a woman is a candidate for a natural thaw cycle in order to achieve those optimal success rates. In other words, if a woman does ovulate on her own, and her physician confirms that she's a candidate for the natural thaw cycle, the pregnancy rates from both the natural thaw cycle and the medicated thaw cycle have been shown in here in our center to be equal.